Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited because today is my one year YouTube anniversary. Yay! <laughs> um, I can't believe that I've been doing this for a year. Um, sometimes it feels like it's been a lot longer, but most of the time it just feels like it's been a whirlwind um, of, you know, awesomeness. Um, yeah, I want to thank First of all, I want to thank all of you for watching um, my videos because obviously if it weren't for you, um, I wouldn't still be doing this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I also want to, um, what did I also want to do? I also wanted to do something. <laughs> uh, oh, I also wanted to um, just say that, you know, this was something that a year ago, um, I thought, you know, there is no way I am ever going to um, continue doing this. Like I, you know, my first three videos, um, I didn't even talk because I was so nervous and so scared. Um, and then, you know, I kind of just pushed myself a little further and I was like, okay, all right, you can do this. It's okay. Um, and now it's to the point where, you know, I, I enjoy this. Um, this is fun. Um, I, you know, I have met so many amazing people, um, and I have made so many just awesome friends, um, just because of this, of this YouTube thing, like I never would have guessed. Um, and I, yeah, I can't imagine not doing this at this point after doing it for a year. Um, I, you know, it just feels like I would be, you know, missing a part of myself. Does that sound really weird? That probably sounds really weird, but, um, this is just, yeah, this is kind of me now. And I never ever would have thought in a million years that I would be doing this. So thank you, all of you, um, for watching and, and for commenting and for liking and, and subscribing and, and all of that stuff, um, you know, just for the encouragement um, that I have, you know, that I've received the whole time, you know, all along the way um, that has, you know, kind of on bad days, um, when I have bad days, those comments and, and that encouragement gets me through, um, in a way that I can't even explain to you. So thank you guys. And today is the day that we draw, um, or that I draw the winner for the ephemera folder that I've made. Um, and we had 29 entries. All right. Um, and if you missed out on entering, um, I apologize. However, um, you know, I have giveaways quite often, so don't, you know, don't fret, hit that subscribe button and the bell, and then you'll get notified, um, of giveaways in the future. And <laughs> this glass is so slippery. Um, I do have secret giveaways as well. Um, if you watch my, you know, videos, sometimes at the end, I will do a little secret giveaway. So just be aware. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to show you because <clears throat> the last time, excuse me, that I, you know, showed you this, um, it wasn't really finished. I hadn't decorated it and I certainly had not, um, filled it with anything. So before I draw, I want to show you what the winner is going to actually receive. So I added, um, this little die cut piece that I found in my stash and it says kindness is the sunshine in which friendships bloom. And I thought that was just kind of absolutely perfect um, for this because I do feel like, you know, um, I have made friends and, and that all of you are in some way um, a friend to me. So, you know, I thought that was kind of perfect. And I had showed you the closure and the only thing I did is I had to make it smaller because I had anticipated um, that I would need it to be bigger than I actually needed it. So I cut it and I sewed it together and then to cover up that sewing, uh, let's see if I can get that to focus. Um, I added, it's, it's one of Tracy Fox's, um, random text. It's from one of her kits. She has two and I don't remember which one this is from, but it just says yours faithfully. And I just kind of 
felt like that was kind of perfect too. So I also added a couple little charms to the binding strings here. The one says hope and then the other one is just a little flower. So the um, closure just slides off here like so. And then um, I used some other die cuts that I have. Let me add some glue here because that looks like it's not sticky. Oh, well that, my art glitter glue is, uh, it has gotten really weird. <laughs> Has anyone else had that problem? Like it, it doesn't, no matter what I do, it wants to um, volcano out all over the place. As soon as I stick, take the pin out, I have loosened the cap. I have cleaned it. I have done everything. And here I'll show you because I'm um, over here on the side. Look at, look at what it's done just since I opened it. Does anyone else have that trouble? I don't know. It's bugging me because um, I feel like I'm wasting glue. Anyway, back to the fun part. So I just added a die cut here and then I have added a ton of vintage um, ephemera of all kinds. Um, I don't want to pull it all out but you can kind of see here we have a, a this one's from 2001 but you know I mean it's it's still cool card catalogs don't exist anymore so I thought it was kind of cool. Um, this is an actual um, very old picture on a postcard it's like they made it on the postcard so yeah pretty cool you've got a um saver stamp certificate here there's a 1920s check in here uh let's see some receipts from some different places a tasty cake receipt just some fun um bits and pieces for you to add you know to your journals i have um a 1930s piece of uh, hymnal in there. And then over here, I just added a flower and a little pearly piece and a little die cut butterfly. And then in here, these are cards from a card game called Pit. And I have the box somewhere. I picked this up at the antique mall um, over the weekend. And there were actually like two sets of the pit cards in the box like probably not full sets um no instructions or anything but these were the older of the two and this game dates back to like the early 1900s and I think these are probably you know one of the older I had a hard time finding the different backs to determine ages but I know this one is pretty old so I just put one of each of the cards um in there for you and I will say that I will be listing some of the other ones the backs of the other ones look like this and I think they're a bit newer but I still think they're probably before 1930 um, I will be listing these um, in my shop as well so uh, yeah today probably today anyway uh, so that is in that envelope tie this back up I don't know why I can't tie and talk at the same time but I can't all right and then up here um, we have some more uh, vintage cards uh, I have a little kitty and that one is an actual playing card um, a pretty waterfall and that one's just like a trading card um, a duck playing card I will tell you there's a, kind of a hole um, you know but you can still do something with it um, a nice little scenery piece here um, and then one of the owl cards uh, that I actually have listed in my shop I have the ducks in the shop too but all right so put those back in there So yeah, one year guys, not only that, but today is my mama's birthday. So happy birthday, mom. She unfortunately is sick with the flu. I just got off the phone with her. Um, so that's really sad. But you know, when you have a birthday this time of year, I know her and I both have spent our birthdays um, sick over the years. So unfortunately, it's just kind of one of those things. 
All right, so on the belly band, I added a flower, I think it's a Tim Holtz flower. And then um, underneath, I uh, just have some other pieces of ephemera. And let's slide in there. It's a bit tight, but it works. And then here, um, I have this is like, um, came out of like a, a souvenir pack of photos for the Wyandotte Caves in Wyandotte, Indiana. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, but it's a cool little picture. This is an, a, a, an old, old picture. I wanna say uh, probably antique, um, but it has like the photographer information on the back and it is torn, you know, but as junk journalers, we like that kind of thing, right? This is a vintage um, Denison label. So I have included that in there and then all of that hopefully will cooperate and slide in the belly band. <laughs> Come on. There we go. All right. So that's the belly band portion. And then over here, um, I added a couple. These are printable cigarette cards from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dab. And then in here... We have, um, this is like a unused ice cream lid. And I actually will have a few of these listed in my shop as well. But how cute is that? I love it. And then I have a Viewmaster reel here with its envelope. That is from the, probably the third, um, let's see, is there a date on there? The 60s, 1962. Uh, this is just a piece I had in my stash. Uh, of ephemera, like an advertising. This is an old photo. Look at that, isn't that cool? I love that. And it's a postcard as well. And then um, this is a vintage Yahtzee scorecard from the 50s. And a few book pages from a vintage book about weeds, but I love the black and white drawings and then it's um, text on the other side. Oh, I guess the flower is on this side, or the weed. I mean, it's a weed, but if you're anything like me, I think that looks like a flower, right? <laughs> I don't care if it's technically a weed. I did have to fold those in half to make them fit. All right, and then this was also, if you remember, I made this into a top-loading pocket. So you have a page of SNH green stamps to play with up there. And then this opens up and you have a tablet of paper and a little bird, um, you know, die cut there. And then in this pocket, I added a butterfly to the front here. Um, you have a, um, this is probably from, I know it's before the 1930s, but it could be even older than that. It's an adverti advertising card for Western and Southern Life Insurance here in Cincinnati. And then um, a book, um, you know, book plate thingy, an old photo, again, a postcard, and it actually has a name on it. Um, a page of red saver stamps. Uh, I can't remember, these are Holden, trading stamps and then some old um this is an old encyclopedia and um some other book of short stories i believe so some fun stuff to play with i hope that you like this uh, whoever wins it i hope it's stuff that you can use um that's kind of the goal if you can't use it you know you can pass it along send it in happy mail but I would hope that whoever wins um, can use some of it at least. And all right, so then that ties and then we flip it again and you've got the little Tim Holtz um, slot pocket. I'm not gonna pull everything out, but there's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, some of it is old and some of it is new and you should be able to tell uh, the difference. Most of it is, most of it is old. <laughs> and then the pocket over here, you've got one at the top uh, that has like an old little greeting or playing card, not a greeting card. There's a, 
a vintage Rolodex um, card in here. Uh, this is a train ride ticket for the Cincinnati Zoo, dated 1968. And then I have a Raleigh tobacco coupon in here as well. And then in this pocket, you have an antique um, postcard and it is dated 1912, uh, I believe. Um, there's some, let me erase that right now before I forget. Someone had written on it in pencil, probably the antique dealer, and I forgot to erase that. I hate when they do that. I wish they would just put them in like, you know, a sleeve or something. Um, I don't know, but it's still, it's still pretty cool. And then I have some um, old like memorandum and notepad papers that were written on. Um, you've got some dates here. These are from the 30s. Uh, but they've got blank, blank backs for the most part. Uh, this is a vintage bridge scorecard. I have those listed in my shop as well. And then this is newer. Um, it is a postcard um, from, let's see, where is it from? British Museum, trustees of the British Museum, but it's from California, uh, 1990. So the copyright, I don't know. Um it's a 19th century woodcut in, e uh, yeah, you know, it's just pretty. I thought it was cool. So I have put it in here. <laughs> oh my, it's Monday, guys. Oh, and I wanted to apologize. Um, so I started moving my craft room into, you know, my younger son's room um, last week. And I'm not done yet. And I barely, barely was able to um, do this video um, because everything is just sort of a hot mess. But I am way happier with, I promise this is not that difficult to put on. I don't know what my problem is. Um, <laughs> I am way happier with, uh, with what I have, you know, space-wise and, and where my desk is and stuff. Like right now, I am working pretty much with natural light. Um, I only have a light on um, above my, like sort of above and behind me on the ceiling. Um, but otherwise, this is all natural light and it's yucky outside today. Like there is no sunlight. Um, it is raining and gross and gray. So I am quite happy um, with that part of it. I just need to get everything kind of moved in here. So. All of that to say that I will not be doing the 3 and 30 challenge um, today. So it'll be probably another day this week, I'm hoping. Um, but I wanted to do the giveaway because I said that I would on, the, you know, on today, um, on today. <laughs> and I actually will be back um, probably, I'll probably go ahead and upload it later today or maybe I'll wait until tomorrow. I have a ton of new digitals in my shop. Um, and I wanted to share them with you. I printed them all out and I just wanted to show you what they look like um, printed. So I will film that today. I'm not sure if I'll upload it today or if I'll wait until um, tomorrow, but hopefully the 3 and 30 I will be able to do on Wednesday. And then I'm really hoping to be able to do a live on Friday. So I'm trying to get everything back to normal, um, but it's just taking a little longer than I anticipated, um, you know, life. So let's go ahead and draw the winner. So like I said, I had 29 um, entries. And if you saw the giveaway video, um, you know that it was not your typical uh, giveaway. I did, I turned the comments completely off actually, um, because I didn't want anyone to think that that was, you know, I didn't want it to be I didn't want people to think that that's how they entered and then they wouldn't be entered because I wasn't going to look at the comments. Um, so I just turned them off. And what you had to do was send me an email with answers to two questions. The first question was, when is my birthday? And my birthday was February 9th. Um, and then the second question, well, that, that question, you had to find the answer. The answer was given in a video that I did earlier. Um, and it was uh, the video, it was the tutorial 
on how I made this, I believe. Now I, now I can't remember. Um, anyway, you had to go back and kind of do some, some uh, um, Sherlock work and find the answer, um, unless you already knew it. And you know, that some people like my son entered and he knows my birthday. <laughs> and then the second question, I gave the answer in the giveaway video. And that was when is, you know, when is my YouTube anniversary? And more importantly, what other awesome event um, does that date share? And, or does, you know, whatever happened on that date. And the answer was, it was my mom, it's my mom's birthday. Um, and like, you know, a bonus, but you didn't get any extra points for it was that also her dad was born, um, on this day as well. So my mom and her dad share a birthday. Now my grandpa is, um, celebrating in heaven. Um, and we think of him, you know, I think of him all the time, but today is kind of, um, a little bit bitter, bittersweet because, you know, we celebrate my mom's birthday, but then, you know, we remember, my grandpa as well. So anyway, those were the answers to the questions. I am babbling. Um, and I had 29 people send me emails. And so those 29 names are in my little pretty bowl here. And um, I am just going to, whoops. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of, you know, mix all of them up and I keep throwing them out. I promise I'm catching them. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to turn around and reach and I am going to grab one out of here. All right, got one. Let's see who it is. And the winner is Lisa at My Eclectic Life. Congratulations, Lisa. I am so excited for you. I hope that this was something that you were excited to win. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's what you need to do, Lisa. I need you to send me another email to that email that you, you know, entered um, through, and I'll, I'll put a link to it um, in the description box below so you don't have to go and search for it. Um, and give me your full name and your address, and I will put this in the mail for you right away. Um, please, please, please contact me within 48 hours. Um, you know, I'd like to get it sent out. Um, it's one less thing that I have sitting around my craft room that I have to, uh, you know, worry that I'm going to lose accidentally because everything's a mess right now. So get back to me within 48 hours. And um, yeah, congratulations. Woohoo! Yay! So excited. I'm going to just tuck that right there. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. So thank you so much to all of you who participated. Um, that was fun. I liked doing the giveaway that way. Um, I hope you did too. Let me know if you did or didn't, um, because I think I might do it again that way in the future. It was fun. All right, I'm gonna be quiet now and I'm gonna let you go. I hope you have a fabulous day. And like I said, I'll be back in a little bit um, with some new digitals that I have available in my shop. Um, and yeah, all right guys, have a fabulous day. I will talk to you soon. Take care, bye.